What's going on everybody, it's Conti here. In today's video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to use the rule of if then else when you're doing a mail merge in a word processing document such as Microsoft Word. Now to show you how this if then else rule works, what I'm gonna do is create a letter which is being sent out to people who have applied for a job and the letter will inform each candidate whether they have been successful in their application or not and whether they will be called back for an interview. In my original source file, I have the ID of each applicant with their forename, surname, and whether they've been successful in their application, which contains a tick box, yes or no. What I want to have appear on the second paragraph in this letter is a sentence explaining whether the application from the relevant candidate has been successful or not. If the box isn't ticked, then they won't be invited back for another interview. So I'm going to left click once in the space below the first sentence. In under mailings, go to rules and if then else. Since I want certain sentences appearing depending on whether the candidates were successful, I need to select the successful field from the top left corner and I will be checking if it is equal to the value true. Don't put yes here because it won't work. And so my conditional statement will be if the successful field contains a value equivalent to true, then it will print off text that I will type in this middle box here. However, if it's not equivalent to true, what it will print out is the text that I put in this bottom text box. So if the successful field in a record is equivalent to true, the message that will appear in the second paragraph of my letter will be, I'm pleased to inform you that you have been shortlisted and you are invited to attend an interview. Should the field read false, then it will say, we are sorry to inform you on this occasion that you have not been successful. Click OK when you've created the rule. And if I click on preview results, for Gareth, it reads, we are sorry to inform you on this occasion that you have not been successful. And if I go to the previous two records for Jessica and Dean, it reads that they have been shortlisted and are invited to attend another interview. And this is consistent as well with the data in my original source file. Gareth is the only candidate who is unsuccessful on this occasion. Should you wish to modify your rule at any time also, press Alt and F9 on your keyboard. Some keyboards may require you to type in FN, the function button, before you press F9 as well. Press Alt and F9. And now you can see the fundamentals of the rule written on your master document with the field name here the value that you are looking for and the rule equivalent to. You can also modify the message that will appear if this criteria is met and you can see the alternative message appearing with a second set of quotation marks within the brackets. Press Alt and F9 again to go back to your original view in the master document. Hope this video was helpful to you. To support this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.